stuffy, robotic, windy, mechanical. These are common complaints about business communication. Let's find out what it means to work toward a natural, conversational style. Decades ago, a Texas congressman named Maury Maverick coined the term gobbledygook to refer to government's use of stuffy language. Ever since then, writers and speakers in all fields have been lobbing their own gobbledygook at their audiences. The language of law, that is legalese, is notoriously unnatural. When you read a service agreement, maybe you get the feeling that a machine wrote the document instead of a human. But the fact is that all experts can get so caught up in their subject areas that they forget they are sharing this information with humans. In my lesson on a simple style, I simplified a complicated expression so that I had this revision. One benefit of using clear wording is an appearance of sincerity. Yet even that sentence, especially the last part of it, lacks humanity. So you may aim for a more natural sounding expression like this one. When you use clear wording, you sound sincere. In 2009, Politico tried to analyze what it called President Obama's favorite phrase, let me be clear. Imagine if he replaced this frequently used phrase with this one, consent to my request for being lucidly comprehensible. That's about as lucidly comprehensible as R2-D2, and almost as robotic. So how can you work toward a natural style? The first step is to change your mindset. Seek to express, not to impress. Professionals who aim to impress use showy, bloated, and often unfamiliar wording, thinking that the way to win respect is to amaze with one's vocabulary. But professionals who aim to express constantly think about serving their audience with their message. As a result, they find it easier to use a natural style. Second, make your message more conversational. Some may reject this advice, thinking that conversational language is rambling, vague, and cluttered. Now these are good cautions, but language that reveals a natural style can also reveal a precise style, which fights vagueness, and a simple style, which fights rambling, cluttered expression. After you write your message, read it aloud, asking yourself whether you would actually say such things. Ask a colleague to review your message and to tell you whether it really sounds like you. Third, express actions with verbs, not nouns. Consider this sentence. Our plan is an evaluation of whether our speaking is clear. Notice that nouns express actions in this sentence and our verbs, prime candidates for showing action, express almost nothing. Consider this revision. We plan to evaluate whether we speak clearly. Now verbs, not nouns, express the actions. Other specific steps toward a natural style include using contractions, revising outdated expressions like, as per your request, and revising heavy strings of nouns like procurement, adjustment, management. Give some life to your robotic language. Use a natural style.